Hi, my name is Julia, and today I'll be demonstrating how the process of making rock candy and the science behind it. So I have my measuring cup here, food coloring, vanilla extract, um, a plate for sugar, um, obviously the sugar, and then I have four glass jars, and basically we'll be using these to make the rock candy. Um, so I'll start off by uh, mixing one cup of water and three cups of sugar. So that's two cups of sugar. You need one more cup and then one cup of water. So we're just going to start boiling this. Um, just until the sugar dissolves and we get sort of like a clear mixture. So the heat from the fire will allow the sucrose molecules to break apart and mix with the water. Uh, this will create a completely dissolved solution of sugar and water. And because sucrose is a disaccharide, it is made up of fructose and glucose, which can be seen in this diagram here. Um, the breaking apart of these molecules will cause a reaction known as caramelization. However, sugar molecules will continue to be attracted to each other, which means that the sugar will want to go back into its crystalline form. This crystalline process is what we use, what we will use to accomplish the making of rock candy. This process can only occur if um, it is in a super saturated solution, which can be seen in this diagram. Um, in this case, there is more sugar than water. That's why we use three cups of sugar and only one cup of water. And in addition to that, the evaporation process of the water will also increase the concentration of the sugar compared to the water. And so there is more solute that can stay in the solution, which enables the sugar molecules to bind together again in bigger crystals. Okay, so now we're gonna get the skewers ready for the rock candy. Obviously the crystals will form on this stick and it will be like uh, the rock candy that you buy at the store. Um, so first we're just gonna coat the skewer in water. So this will help the sugar solution find like the crystals to make bigger crystals. And then we can just use this chopstick so that we can fold it in place from here. And then just get another one. Okay. And I think the sugar solution is boiling. Yeah. So almost all of the sugar is dissolved. Um, we can go ahead and add a little bit of vanilla extract just for the flavoring. Okay, let's move this. And we just have to let it cool a little bit because it is incredibly hot. So basically what I'll do next is I'm going to pour um, a little bit of this into the mason jar and then I can add a little bit of food coloring just so that it has a little bit of, just to add a little bit of fun. And then we'll add the skewer that we Okay. And then add a little bit of food coloring. Okay, so now I'm gonna add the skewer and we have to make sure that the skewer doesn't touch the bottom of the jar. Okay, that's the bottom. Just a little bit. Now we just have to wait five days for the sugar to crystallize on the skewer. After about five to six days, um, they should be ready, but um, as you can see, um, 
the crystals are more collected on the bottom and I think that's because I didn't put the skewers high enough. However, you can see that the crystallization process did work, just not on the stick as it was supposed to. On this one, you can see as well. And then on this one, I think this one is a bit hard to see because of the color. But now I'm just gonna break the top and try getting the stick up. Oh, yeah, so it is stuck to the uh, bottom of the jug, which I'm assuming is why the crystals didn't stick to the stick as much. Okay, so I took out the red one. Um, as you can see, there are some sugar crystals on it. Obviously not as much as we hoped it would be like, but here it is. Um, I think if I didn't put the skewers as close to the bottom as I did with these ones, the batch would have came out better. However, that was my experiment. Thank you. <laughs>